Hey everyone, today I'm going to be discussing the road to getting accepted into medical school if you are an international student. And I also hope to give you a few helpful tips you may find useful if you are an international applicant trying to apply to U.S. allopathic medical schools. If you're new here, my name is Adam Nessam and I'm the founder of the Pre-Med Consultants, a pre-med coaching program that helps students every step of the way until they get into medical school. So first off, I think it's important to understand what the definition of an international student actually is. So international students are defined as pre-medical students who are not green card holders or permanent residents in the US. And permanent residents are generally treated as the same as US citizens when it comes to the application cycle. The number of international students accepted to US medical schools each year is actually quite low. According to the medical school admissions requirements, or MZAR, there are 51 allopathic medical schools that actually accept international applicants. And according to the AMC, in 2019, in that application cycle, there was 1,894 applicants that applied to MD schools, and 325 of those applicants were ultimately accepted, with 272 that matriculated to medical school. Now, international students make up only about 0.6% of all U.S. medical school matriculants. And in addition to this, the schools that accept international students students, there are some that only accept Canadian students. According to MZAR, there are 75 allopathic medical schools that accept Canadian students. So this is a little bit more than just international as a whole. Now let's look at an example of a school that favorably accepts international students. In the 2021 application cycle, the Geisel School of Medicine at Dartmouth had a total of 993 international applicants and interviewed 36 of those students. That means that only 3.6% of students were interviewed that applied. However, 10 of those 36 students matriculated which means if you interviewed, you had about a 28% chance of matriculating. When you look at the numbers as a whole, only 1% of international students that applied matriculated. And while that seems low, if you compare this to U.S. applicants, you get actually a similar matriculation rate. 82 out of 9,522 students ultimately matriculated, which is also about 1%. While this doesn't show acceptance rates, it's just matriculation rates, meaning that the percentage of U.S. students accepted may actually actually have been slightly higher. These are just the students that ended up going to that school. Ultimately, these numbers are somewhat comparable. However, if you take a look at a school like Boston University, a total of five international students matriculated out of 870 that apply. This is a 0.57% matriculation rate. For out-of-state applicants, 127 out of 10,187 matriculated, which is 1.2%. And for in-state applicants, 19 out of 950 matriculated, which is 2%. As you can see, while it is very difficult to get accepted and matriculate as an international student, and just in general, to be honest, it's pretty hard to get into medical school and matriculate, it is not impossible to do so as an international student. It is also important to understand the requirements at each school, especially as an international student. For example, on the BU Medical School Admissions website, it states that applicants are expected to earn a bachelor's degree from a four-year college or university that is located in and accredited in the U.S. US or Canada. Applicants who have not graduated from an accredited US or Canadian institution, but who completed a minimum of two years in such an institution, including all the prerequisites, may be considered to be eligible and should bring the details of their record to the attention of the Committee on Admissions. If you are an international student that completed your schooling in the US or Canada and took the MCAT and CASPER test, then you are eligible to apply. However, if you took classes in another country, you may need to contact the school and see if they are willing to accept your credits. If not, one alternative solution would be to do a two-year post back in the U.S. so that you can gain those credits that will be accepted. There are a lot of situations that may also end up being a case-by-case -case basis as an international student, which is why it's so important to do your due diligence and have a game plan from very early on, especially as an international student. It is important to try and secure funding for medical school, for example. One of the reasons not all medical schools accept international applicants is that most federally funded scholarship or financial aid programs are only available to U.S. citizens and permanent residents. Therefore, international students usually must assume full financial responsibility for applying to medical school 
and a lot of times cannot apply for government loans. Therefore, they need to secure non-federally funded loans or have the personal resources to afford medical school. Some schools may even require putting between one and four years of the cost of tuition in escrow before matriculation. Essentially, as an international student, schools are more concerned that you're not going to be able to pay, and therefore it puts an extra barrier into getting into medical school and when you're applying. So as you can see, there are many extra hurdles that international students should consider when applying to US medical schools, but this is not at all to discourage you. If your goal is to become a US medical student, it absolutely is possible and every year international students get accepted to medical school. Now if this is something you feel like you want help with, we work with a number of international, US and Canadian pre-meds at the pre-med consultants. So feel free to click the link below and book a call with it'll be either myself or someone from my team and we'll see how we can help you get into medical school. Also if you're getting value from this content, it would mean a lot if you would like and subscribe and that's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.